And so my father often said that sometimes the shortest distance to where you want to go is the longest way around. And it's the scenic route. And you should think <laughs> about doing that with your life. But yeah, so when they came back, it still was hard. It was in the 60s, in the middle of the civil rights era. And uh, you know, even though Jim Crow had ended, we still saw the legacy. But he was the first African-American tenured professor in the Division of Biological Sciences at the University of Chicago, a job he could not have gotten six years earlier. And absolutely fabulous. <laughs> uh, well, you had a wonderful childhood. As I read it, I thought, oh, this is wonderful. But your parents weren't easy on. Uh, they, they were parents who had goals. Oh, exactly. And uh, could you tell us about uh, they taught you to work twice as hard? And yeah. I think there's another part of that sentence. Well, they left that out. You knew what it meant, though. It's like we have to work twice as hard as anybody who's white. And it's, it, I can remember coming home as a child, Elena, my mother, I would be complaining about some unfairness, and it didn't have to do necessarily with racial discrimination, but it would just be life wasn't fair. And my mother said, well, who told you life was fair? And her theory of the case was if you work twice as hard, then that buffers you, so when life is unfair, at least you're, you're well prepared. And if you work twice as hard and you, if you have a little bit of luck, then something may go your way. And if it doesn't, you'll still be fine. And that was her philosophy. And she prepared for the worst. I mean, my mom sees the glass as like a teeny bit full, even when it's flowing over. I'll give you as an example. So yesterday I called her and I said, Mom, she's 90 years old. She still works full time. I'll never be able to live up to my mother. But I said, guess what? I'm on the New York Times bestseller list. And she said, terrific. Do you have to do it again next week? <laughs> I said, yes, yeah. and that's okay, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Whereas if my father was alive, he would say, wonderful <laughs> news, you are great. I'm so glad the rest of the world sees it now. <laughs> so I'm caught between these two different worldviews, and I probably have a little bit of both of them.